Hey, art therapists and facilitators. So, when it comes to marketing and talking to clients, we know that we have to be clear about what it is that clients can get out of an art therapy or a therapeutic art session. You want to have this description or explanation on your service page, aka your sales page, and also be able to share this description in your social media and in your marketing. So, saying something like, Okay, through this art therapy session, your life will get better, you will feel better, things like that. That doesn't really mean anything, right? Because it's too general. But as you get clear and concrete about what a client can achieve or get out of the session, it can really motivate people and attract clients who will book you. So, how do you verbalize and express what will be achieved in a session? This is what you can do. You can explain the reason for what you do, right? So, you describe what you will, what the client will do concretely, of course. What's the exercise? What is the thing that they're gonna do and create? But also, more importantly, you wanna explain the reason for what you do, what you prompt your client to do. <laughs> so, for example, if you are doing a mandala drawing, let's say, you ask your client to do a mandala drawing, you then explain how that is helpful. Like, drawing in a circle helps with X, Y, and Z. Or using drawing materials or mediums like color pencils can help with X. And you can also tie that. Benefit to the overall goal goal you have for this session or this program, right? Why having this benefit will actually contribute to the client achieving that goal. So maybe your program is about finding one's calling, right? Through art, perhaps. So in session two, let's say your client is going to be asked to do a lifeline drawing. So that's the exercise. So then you will explain how that lifeline drawing helps create more clarity with your client,、um, helps create more、uh, perspective about their life and about their preferences, their experiences, and how that's going to help them find their calling in life. But let's say your session is really different each time, and it's totally customized to the flow of your work with your client. And so you can never really, you don't really have a structure. Let's say for each section, you're just going with whatever the client brings in. So in this case, you can explain your approach for how to facilitate this and why that approach makes sense for the client's goal, session goal, right? Like what? What are the steps or what are the approaches that you're going to take to facilitate your client in this session, and how that will contribute to them achieving their goal? So I want to leave you with this quote from Albert Einstein, and that is, "If you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough." If you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. So this is just saying how it is so important to be able to describe or explain very simply. Don't go overboard. Just come back to explaining and practicing describing your session and what they will achieve simply. And you might find that this is hard because it does take, it does require you to understand. What you are doing very well to be able to explain it simply, right? So try to understand why what you do is valuable and helpful, and how it can change someone's thoughts, feelings, and actions. Understand what you are really bringing to the table here, what you are really doing here in the session. And once you have that understanding, explaining is going to be really simple. And easy. So hopefully this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video, giving you more tips on RTB business.